Deputy Speaker, the Labor movement in Canberra lost one of its real champions with the passing of Neville Betts in early June. Neville was an organiser, New South Wales ACT Assistant Secretary and life member of the Electrical Trades Union in service that spanned three decades. I first ne met Nev back in the 90s when I was a young whippersnapper at a Keating Press Club lunch in 1993. Even, even in that company, <laughs> I, I had a different, different colour hair, Deputy Speaker. Even in that company, Nev could imbue it with a state of origin atmosphere. While at times suspicious of Labor Party whippersnappers, Nev worked tirelessly across marginal seat campaigns across the region, understanding the needs of working families beyond the workplace and that there was only one party, despite their imperfections, that could deliver for working people. For a decade, I had the honour of working with him and learning from him with bargaining, organising and joint cases in the Commission across workplaces as diverse as ACTU AGL, EcoWise, Snowy Hydro, ACT Government and Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex. Neville was the ETU organiser on the Parliament House site during its construction. He was loved by delegates, members and officials across the Labor movement. And he could talk. For good reason, his nickname was Jaws. Many a time I've had a phone conversation with Neville where he spoke for the first 30 minutes without drawing a breath. After some experience of this, I realised it was generally time to make a cup of tea or coffee while involved in such a conversation. Nonetheless, the position he was advocating for was invariably right. His knowledge of the industries he represented was in extraordinary detail, certainly beyond most of the other people who sat around the tables he bargained with. He cared deeply about the families of the members he represented. As his great friend and ETU compadre Matt McCann put it, Nev fought the toughest battle of all against cancer over the last three years. Unfortunately, his body could not sustain the fight any longer. He never gave up. Anyone who knew Nev would know that was in his DNA. Nev spent 32 years fighting for ETU members and his beloved power industry comrades. He never backed off or backed down from a blue. He liked a beer. He liked a good time. He loved to fish. Shooting clay targets was his obsession. But most importantly, Neville loved his family with a passion. He survived by his wife Cheryl, son Jake, daughter Kate and her husband Mark. Neville was a doting grandfather to Hudson and twins Madeline and Abigail. Deputy Speaker, I extend, I extend deepest condolences to the family, friends and workmates of Neville Betts, a man you don't meet every day. Call the Honourable Member for